Hey guys, Jacob here at Deep Bull Supply. Today, we have the new Pentair Color Sync as seen right here, and I'm gonna install this thing today. So, keep watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, but let's dive in. All right guys, and we are back. So we've got Pentair's new, I don't even know what they call this thing nowadays. Kyle, what do they call this thing? The Color Sync. This is their new controller. 618031. Yeah. So what this is, is the new Microbrite controller, Microbrite, Telebrite, uh, Globrite, I think as well. Um, it's smaller than the last ones. So we have a what's in the box to show you exactly up close and personal what it looks like, but it's real low profile and it comes with a waterproofing kit. So that way we can just install it right outdoors. It doesn't need a actual, I guess, outdoor cover plate that actually waterproofs the whole thing. This thing actually is weather proof resistant. Probably proof is what they're advertising. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. So what we're gonna do, take everything out. And so what I got is my part number and my script, my serial number. Uh, also a QR code scanner down there. All kinds of stickers up here that says, please do not remove until you uh, install this thing. Cause I think you can hover over it and it downloads the Pentair home app. Uh, like I said before, uh, this thing, or I might've said this before, this will actually work on the Pentair Home app. This has built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, that way you can choose your color remote, like via cell phone, anywhere, do whatever you want to do. So it all syncs with your Wi-Fi. And we'll show you how to do that on a probably a separate video on how to connect it and get it online. So, but today we're going to wire this thing in and show you guys how simple this is. So on the back side of here, what we'll do is we'll take a screenshot of this and blow it up here. So that way you can see this a little bit better because the verbiage is real small. So it's got load, neutral, and line. So what the way that is, line is what comes from your power. So either from a GFI or from the power source. Neutral is your, your white, your neutral line. Um, and then you've got your load. Uh, your load is sending the power to the light. So you just have to know which wire does what. So what I did was I have two reds here and I have my neutral. Um, so my two reds, I put a little tape around there to let me know which one goes to the light. So that's my load and my lines over here. So this is actually pretty neat. The back side of this is just three little screw connectors. So, I mean, realistically, this thing's gonna take two seconds to install if I can find the right screwdriver. So all you gotta do is take these little tiny screwdrivers, loosen up all your terminals here. So what I'm gonna do, it goes load, neutral line. So load again is where it goes to the actual pool light. I'm actually gonna cut those back a little bit more. So I don't want too much copper hanging out. A big, big, big thing too, turn your power off. I've been shocked many times. I don't want you guys to get shocked, turn your power off. So turn your power off before you start. But again, load to the light. This is the wire that goes to the light, the high voltage wire that goes to the light. This video is what I'm doing is meant for a 120 volt light. This will definitely work if we end up having a 12 volt Intellibrite or a Microbrite. Um, all we have to do is send the power here. And what you're gonna do is power the transformer. So it goes from power here and the neutral in the line uh, is what's gonna, or the neutral in the load goes to the transformer. Then your low voltage wires goes to the transformer. So that's the other option to wire this. Then my neutral pops in here. Really, really simple actually. So after I screw this one down, cause it's a little tough, I'll point it towards my camera. One, two, three, camera three. So if you see here, one, two, three, load neutral line. I've got my load in, my neutral in, and now I'm gonna do my line. This video is very, very simple. So I did that. Fantastic. So got my little weatherproofing kit. So I'm gonna take my little rubber guy here, my gasket, and it's gonna go like this. So it stretches so I can, obviously I probably should have put this on before I put the connectors in, but it's rubber, it'll stretch around. So let's make sure it's all lined up because that's what's gonna create the seal from the plastic here to the uh, junction box here. So something you notice too, that there is no ground wire. So this whole controller is plastic. 
So it doesn't need to be grounded, which is pretty crazy. Pentair is in telekinetic. A lot of things now are becoming out, are coming out plastic panels. No grounding is necessary. Uh, it's all UL certified. So it's all gone through its inspections, safety tests and everything like that. So that way we can actually get this thing going. So what I'm going to do now, all my wires are in, fold them up, bend them down, put it in. Fits like I got love. Okay, so now I got my safety stickers. Uh, they want me to do this for wet climates, just throw this lube on the screws, but that's kind of weird here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, they are, they're Phillips, so I'm not gonna need my flathead. So all I'm gonna do is take these two screws, thread them in to the box so I can see the feed. Maybe. There it is. So I'll get the top one started. And I will get the bottom one started. Finish the bottom one. Again, this is waterproof. So this is what it can finish like outside. If it's in a very hot area like we are here in Phoenix, Arizona, and this thing gets direct sun contact all the time. Uh, I do not recommend really putting this thing directed at the sun all the time because it's just going to kill all these colors and the pretty writing that's all over this thing. So I am in. And my seal all the way around is good. So my rubber seal goes all the way around. No water can get in there. It's watertight, held good against the wall. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take out my phone. Let's see if this does it real time. Let me connect the internet again. Nope, that's the Google one. I don't want the Google one. This is an Apple phone. And it takes you straight to the Pentair home app, assuming I have good cell phone service. Let's see what happens. Lati lati, as I get a hundred text messages. Come on. I believe in you. Pentair Home. So when Pentair Home opens, that's what you're going to want to download. And then it's, we're going to walk you through on how to get this light connected to the app. So right now, what we did is we actually installed this light controller, the new uh, Pentair Color Sync, again, for micro brights, glow brights, and, uh, and telebrights. And yeah, so if she's all wired up, we're going to fire on the breakers. And we're going to come back and we're going to get this thing online via Wi-Fi. But uh, probably to start, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. So let's actually pull this guy out so I can show you what this finished product looks like. Moy pretty. Ooh, this is a tough sticker. Cool. So, again, it's got all of our colors on here. So as you remember inside the uh, instructional video, Let's pop up a screen of what this actually looks like right here because this verbiage is real small. So, I mean, it's got all those solid colors over here. The light shows over here. Recall and holds over here. Uh, very cool. Very, very, very cool, you guys. Um, very simple to use for a light controller. So this is the manual way to do it. But again, this is going to be awesome on your cell phone to use. Uh, make sure you got good Wi-Fi connectivity here, though. Um, but, yeah, awesome, guys. Let's head over to the pool. I'm gonna start. We're going to fire this thing up. Select color and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna get some power back on. All right, guys, pretty cool. So we got the power turned back on. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I didn't know this till I started playing with it, but this is a button. So to turn it on, what you wanna do is press the button. It's gonna power it up and it's gonna recall the last light that you guys had it on. So right now it's on romance mode because I'm a pretty romantic guy. Um, but for you guys, let's put this thing on to party mode. So you just scroll the wheel here so I can go all the way around so I can hold it, which I'll get to that in a little bit, but party mode, press it. And now it's going to go through its color sequence, change its colors and be on party mode. So this thing's pretty sweet. I like this controller a lot, you guys. Um, but let's talk about hold mode. Okay. So hold mode, if you go to Sam, Sam light rotates through all of the colors here for the Pentair, uh, all their lights, all their color lights. 
slowly rotate, slowly rotate, slowly rotate. And if you like that exact color that it's at, what I want you guys to do is scroll over to hold and hold it and it'll stop. And it's gonna stay at that exact color, which is a super cool feature. It's relatively new for Pentair. Um, I do love that hold feature. So um, just some little, little fun. Um, but yeah, if you want blue, green, magenta, white, red, that's on the left side here. And then you've got Sam, Party, Romance, Caribbean, American, Sunset, and Royal. So again, let's go back down to party and let's go take a look to see what this thing did at the pool. So again, you guys, I'm Jacob with the Pool Supply. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like the page, like our channel, like everything about us. Check out our website, www.epoolsupply.com. Uh, shout out to Danny. Hit the cameras up today. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Uh, let's go check out that pool. Thanks for watching.